Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Um, I am just doing this for the first time, so I hope I'm doing it correctly. Um, so we are going to get started now. Um, so find a comfortable seat. Take a moment to root down through the sit bones, lengthening up through the crown of the head, softening the shoulders back and down. And then as you close your eyes, take a moment just to go inwards, noticing the breath, noticing any sensations in the body. And as you begin to deepen in your breath, Try to allow any sensations that might feel a little tight in your body to release. So let's together empty all the breath out. Take a slow inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, sigh the breath out. Again, deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, finding a little bit more length through your spine. Exhale, release any tension, melt it out. This time, inhaling to pause the breath at the top. Soften your shoulders on your back, sip in a little bit more air. Exhale the breath out. One more like that. Inhale, pause the breath at the top. Soften your shoulders, sip in a little bit more. Exhale the breath out. And as you gently come back to the natural rhythm of your breath, Try to maybe even out the inhales and the exhales while keeping the breath flowing in and out through your nose. Just refining your breath and setting up a pace for your practice. And as you feel ready, gently open your eyes and re-soften your shoulders down. Take an inhale, stay on your seat. If you're sitting on a cross shin position, just begin to make gentle circles back, down, and around. Releasing into your shoulders, maybe circling the neck, the head, side to side. And then keep your spine as long as you can. Bring your finger pads alongside your hips and push the ground away from you to lengthen from the hips to the um, inner armpits. So really growing taller through your side waist. And then as you broaden through the collarbones, begin to extend your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Bend the elbows at the top, kiss your shoulder blades on your back, and then just lift your chest slightly. And on your exhale, begin to round your spine, chin to your chest, elbows towards one another. Again, inhale, begin to lift your chest, Open your collarbones. Exhale, round, tuck your chin to your chest. One more here. Inhale, lift your chest, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale to round. Inhale to re-extend your arms overhead. Tee them and then begin to rotate your torso towards the right. Releasing your right fingertips behind you. Placing your left hand on top of your right knee. Begin to make a big circle with your right shoulder up, back, and down. And then as you broaden again through the chest, keep both sit bones rooting down and grow taller through the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in, find length. Exhale to twist. Deep breath in, grow taller. Exhale out a little bit more rotation through the belly. One more here, inhale. Exhale, gently release the twist. Keep your left hand on top of your right knee and bring your left elbow on top of your right. 
being to bring your arms onto your eagle arms, crossing at your elbows, at your forms and your wrists, maybe your wrists won't cross. Begin to lift the elbows in line with the shoulders and gently stretch the forearms forward, opening through the back body. If it feels good on your neck, tuck your chin to your chest and press the chest up towards the upper back as you extend your fingertips forward any amount. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. Exhale, gently release your ego. Arms, stretch your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in, extend. Exhale, tee your arms and begin to rotate towards the left. Left fingertips behind you. Right hand on top of your left knee. Roll your left shoulder back and down and then begin to rotate. Again, from the navel, so keeping both sit bones rooting down. Take an inhale to find length. And on your exhale, twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, two more here, inhale, exhale, one more round of breath, inhale, exhale, gently releasing the twist, keep your right hand on top of your left knee, bring your left arm on top of your right for your eagle arms on the right, inhale to lift your elbow tips in line with the shoulders, exhale to extend your forearms forward, and again, if it's okay for your neck, tuck your chin to your chest, and round slightly through your upper back. Spread your fingertips, stretch them forward. Deep inhale. And exhale the breath. Two more breaths in here. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release. Open your arms. Spread your fingers. Reach your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers and flip your palms forward. Stretching the heels of the hands towards the front. Roll the shoulders back and then any amount begin to extend your arms overhead. Finding a nice deep stretch on the shoulders, releasing the neck. Extend your arms forward again. Clasp the opposite index in front. Make the web of your fingers nice and tight. Extend forward with the heels of the hands and then stretch your arms overhead. Exhale to release your fingertips down to the mat. Try to keep your sit bones rooting down and then begin to walk your hands forward. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Once you feel that your sit bones start to lift, press your hands well and push your sit bones back and down as you lengthen the back waist down towards your seat. Keep walking your hands forward if you can. Keep releasing the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the breath flowing deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. Walking forward a little bit more. Deep breath in. Exhale. The breath out slowly. Begin to walk your hands back towards your hips. And however you can make it to your tabletop, just come onto your hands and knees. So bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips, and we'll start warming up the spine with a few rounds of cat cow Take an inhale, lift your gaze, lift your tail, and on your exhale, press the mat away from you, round through your back, chin to your chest, tops of the feet press down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Deep breath in to lift. Exhale to round. Two more here. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more round of breath. Inhale to lift. Exhale round through your spine. Inhale, comes back to a neutral spine. Bring your knees back a couple of inches. Curl your toes under. Bring your sit bones towards your heels and then just begin to stretch the bottoms of your feet. So keeping all 10 toes curled under, push your hips back towards the heels and then energetically draw the outer armpits down towards the mat. Make your arms straight and strong. Release your neck completely and very slowly begin to pick up your hips lifting them all the way back and up, 
Coming onto your first downward facing dog. And in this first dog, just lift your heels really high to pike your hips a little bit higher and think about closing the gap between your belly and your thigh bones. Then re-roll your shoulders away from the ears and very slowly begin to draw the heels back and down. And don't worry if your, knee, or if your knees are bent. It's better to have your knees bent than your arms bent. So push a mat away from you. Keep stretching the thigh bones back and up. Keep stretching the torso towards your hips. Take another breath here. Inhale. On your exhale, slowly, slowly begin to lift really high on the balls of your feet, rolling all the way forward to your plank position and lowering your knees down to the mat. Bring your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes to touch and bring your sit bones back towards the heels. Extending your torso forward for your child's pose. Lower your forehead down to the mat and use your finger pads to bring the hips as close to the heels as you can. Let's take three rounds of breath here. Deep inhale. Keep stretching your torso down and your hips back. Exhale. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. At the end of your exhale, begin to walk your hands back up towards your hips. Close your knees in line with your hips and come back to your tabletop position. Hands and knees. Inhale to extend your right leg behind you, keeping your toes curled under, keeping your shoulders above the wrists. Press your heel towards the back of the room and make a couple pulsing movements forward and back. Notice if your elbows are bent, try to straighten them. Notice if your wrist creases are pointing in any other direction than the front end of your mat and try to adjust that. And then while keeping your heel reaching back, roll it over towards the left. Maybe adjust your left foot for balance over to the left and then extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Finding a modified Vashistasana, press the outer edge of your right foot well, extend up with the fingertips and if balance is okay, Maybe begin to stretch your right arm forward, maybe gazing underneath your right armpit. One long line from the outer right heel to the pinky. Deep inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gaze down for balance. Release your right hand down. Keep your right leg extended back. Reshift your uh, hips and your torso to face down to the mat and then extend your right leg behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, and then try to bring your knee as close to your right elbow as you can. Inhale to re-extend your leg behind you. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, and tap your elbow with your knee. Two more, extend your leg behind you. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, tap your elbow. Last one, extend your leg, Bend your knee, open your hip, tap your elbow, try to bring it as close as you can, and then slide your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Maybe walk your left knee back a couple inches, if that's okay for your hips, and then pivot onto the pinky side of your right foot, flexing your toes well to protect your knee. This might be enough for some of us. Maybe you'll choose to bring your right hand to the inner knee, Open your chest towards the right slightly, and then gently pulls your knee away from your hip. Rolling the shoulders back, keeping the neck nice and released. Let's do three more rounds of breath here. Open your knee away from you. Last two, inhale. Exhale. Nice, gently release your hand back down towards the mat. Walk your right foot in so you can frame it with both of your hands and shift your hips forward as much as you can. Hug your front heel towards your back knee to activate through your inner thighs and then walk your hands to the top of your right thigh bone. Interlace your fingers on top of your thigh, lift your chest up, roll your shoulders back and down. As you continue to squeeze your inner thighs, extend your arms overhead, keeping the clasp of your fingers stretching the heels of the hands up towards the ceiling. 
Take an inhale, lift off of your hips just a teeny bit to bring your right, left hip bone forward, and then re-sink forward and down. Release your hands down to the mat, or maybe a couple of blocks or books or anything that you might have to bring your right hand down towards the mat and your left arm up and overhead. Stretching the outer right hip bone towards the back of the room. Extending the left fingertips as far out to the right as you can. And then notice, are you collapsing onto your right shoulder? Stretch it towards the back body. Take another breath, inhale. Exhale, release your left hand down to the mat. Plant your hands alongside your right foot. Curl your left toes under. Lift your left knee off of the mat and then extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Finding a gentle twist. Draw the rib cage towards the inner right thigh. Press the mat away from you with your left hand. Take another breath, inhale. Exhale, release your right hand down to the mat. Gaze forward, shift forward and step your left foot to the top of the mat. Finding your uh, forward fold. Feet can be hip distance or together, whatever works for your hips. Take an inhale to find length. And on your exhale, forward fold, belly to your thigh bones, knees can be bent. Inhale to find length. Exhale, forward fold. One more here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Soft bend at your knees, ground down to your heels. Inhale to rise all the way up to standing, touching your prayer at the top. Exhale, hands in prayer and arms release, Tadasana. Roll your shoulders back and down, palms forward, tailbone to the heels. Extend your legs all the way and broaden through the collarbones. Take a deep breath and reach your arms overhead, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Flat back on your breath and look up. Exhale, plant your hands, bend your knees, step your left foot to the back of your mat. Step your right foot to the back of your mat, finding the top of your plank pose. Shift your weight forward, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin down. Inhale, slitter forward and through for your cobra pose. Tops of the feet press down, brought to the collarbones, long with the neck. Exhale, release your forehead down and find your child's pose. Wide knees, big toes touch, stretch your hips back to the heels, release your forehead to the mat. Soften the shoulders away from the ears and just take three rounds of restful breath here. Deep inhales and full exhales. Inhales, exhale the breath. One more here, inhale. Exhale, as you feel ready, curl your toes under, lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale to rise high on the balls of your feet. Exhale to rock forward to your plank position. Release your knees back down to the mat, coming onto the top of your tabletop, and readjust your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We'll take a cat cow to reset the spine. Take an inhale, lift your gaze, lift your tail. Exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Inhale to find a neutral spine. Extend your left leg behind you, keeping your toes curled onto the mat. Kick your heel back and forward, back and forward. And just again, notice if your wrists are directly forward. Notice if you're clenching your shoulders, try to lift them away from the ears and keep drawing the belly in and up. Back of your neck is nice and long. Stay with your heel reaching back and then release it over to the right. Maybe adjust your right foot out to the right if balance is tricky and then extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. First finding the outer edge of your left foot. Press it well and then maybe extending your left arm forward. If that's still going well, Maybe gazing underneath your left armpit, pressing well through the right hand, lifting off of that right shoulder. Deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. 
That's okay, sound. Release your left hand back down. Keep your left leg extended back. And then once you square up through your hips and your shoulders, relift your left leg back and up. Hug your inner thighs, hug your belly, bend your left knee, open it out towards the left, and then tap your left elbow. Extend your leg behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, and tap your left elbow. Try to keep both of your arms straight and strong. Extend your leg behind you, two more like that. Bend, open, tap your left elbow, extend it back. Last one, bend your knee, open your hip, tap your elbow. Try to stay as far forward as you can and then slide your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Walk your right knee back, pivot onto the pinky side of your left foot and flex your toes well. As you descend into your hips, maybe keep both hands on the mat, maybe bring your left hand to the inner knee and gently Press your knee away from you as you open your chest towards the left, any amount. Breathe deeply, inhale, exhale, two more here, inhale, exhale, one more here, breathing in, exhale, gently replant your hand if you lifted it, walk your left foot in so you can frame it with both of your hands, feet or hip distance apart. Hug your inner thighs like you wanted to bring your front heel to meet your back knee. And then walk your hands to the top of your left thigh bone. Interlacing the opposite index in front. Push your thigh away from you. Lift your chest up. And then keeping the clasp of your fingers, reach your arms overhead. Open through your chest. Stretch as far up as you can. And then sink your hips a teeny bit deeper. Releasing the left hand only down to the mat or your block or whatever you have available. And then extend your right fingertips towards the left side of the room. Find that nice deep stretch from the right knee to the right armpit. Take another deep inhale here. Exhale, release your right hand down. Plant your hands well, tuck your left to right toes under. Lift your right knee off of the mat and then extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. Finding a gentle twist, kick your right heel back, open your chest towards the left. Think about stacking your left wrist right above your right. Inhale, exhale, release the twist, left hand down. Shift your weight forward, step your right foot to meet your left, coming to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath into fine length. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, Urva Hastasana. Add so hands in prayer and arms release to Vasana. Breathing in, reach up. Add so forward fold. Inhale to find length and look up. Add so plant your hands, bend your knees, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Step your left foot to the back of your mat, top of your plank pose. Shift your weight forward, lower your knees only. Continue shifting your weight forward as you bend the elbows to the rib cage, trying to keep the elbow tips above the wrist creases, broad through the collarbones, keep the neck long, press the tops of your feet down onto the mat and bring your chest through your shoulders for your modified up dog. Hug your inner thighs, hug your sit bones, lift a teeny bit higher through your chest and on your exhale, bring your seat to the heels, Curl your toes under, lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog. And trying to maybe find as much stillness on these dog as you can, pushing the mat away from you, lifting your thigh bones and your kneecaps, aligning the outer heels with the pinkies, keeping your feet hip distance apart, hands as wide as your shoulders, Press the mat away from you, especially with your index knuckles. And think about bringing your forearms to me. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale the breath out. On your next inhale, bring your big toes to touch. Rise high on the balls of your feet, gaze in between your hands. Try to keep your arms straight and strong as you slowly 
Begin to tiptoe your feet all the way to the top of the mat. Once you get there, take a deep breath in to find length through your spine. And on your exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale to rise all the way up to standing, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Flat back when your breath in, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, bend your knees, step back with your left foot, step back with your right foot. Option to lower your knees every single time. Bend your elbows, Chaturanga push-up. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. Keep stretching your tailbone back and up. Keep rolling your shoulders away from your ears, wrapping your triceps under. All your fingers are spreading and pressing well. Inhale to bring your big toes to touch. Rise high in the balls of your feet. Bend your knees, gaze in between your hands. Walk or float to the top of the mat. Taking an inhale to find life. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, hands in prayer. And arms release, Tadasana. Make a big shoulder roll back, down, and around. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And when you exhale, sigh your breath out, widening your mouth as much as you can. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, bend your knees, sink your seat, Utkatasana, chair pose. Tailbone lengthens towards the mat. Stretch your thigh bones and your kneecaps back. Gaze back and down on your toes and spread them. Lift them and fan them. On your exhale, fold your belly towards your thigh bones. Stay low with your hip bones and keep extending your arms away from the shoulders. Release your hands down to the mat and straighten your legs forward fold. Take a deep breath in to find length. Exhale, plant your hands, bend your knees, step back to your plank pose. Lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in to extend your right leg behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. And when you open your hip, be mindful of your left hip bone. Make sure it's extending back. Make sure your left kneecap is still pointing forward and your heel is in line with the ball of your foot. Rise high on the ball of your left foot. Hug your right knee towards your right elbow and then bring it in towards your chest as you slide your foot in between your hands. Releasing your left knee down to the mat, finding two 90 degree angles. Right knee is above the ankle, left knee is underneath your hip. Walk your hands to the top of your right thigh bone. Bring your right thumb into the hip crease. Extend your left arm up towards the ceiling and then bring your elbow to the outer right thigh bone. And as you push your knee onto the elbow, rotate your chest towards the right. Then stack your right hand on top of your left and pushing down through your right hand, try to lift your chest to meet your thumbs. Drawing the navel in and up. Keep opening your right knee out to the right and softening the neck. Breathe deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release the twist. Bring your hands back on top of your right thigh bone. Press your thigh away from you. Curl your left toes under and slowly begin to lift your left knee off of the mat. Once your stands are nice and stable and strong, extend your arms overhead and find a high lunge. On your inhale, extend both of your legs and shift your left hip bone forward. On your exhale, begin to bend your right knee and stretch your fingertips up towards the ceiling as you kick your left heel towards the back of the room. Inhale, find a little bit more length. Exhale to open it up for your warrior two. And take your time to find your first warrior two. Look down at your right toes. 
Make sure you can see your big toe. Open your right knee out to the right if you can't. Tuck your right sit bone under and actively press the left thigh bone down and back towards your left heel. Stretch your fingertips away from your shoulders. Take an inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Keep your front knee bent. Exhale, your right forearm comes to your right thigh bone. Left arm extends up and overhead, extended side angle. Stretching again from the outer left heel to the left pinky, softening the right shoulder away from the ear. Make sure you're not pouring weight onto your thigh bone, you're light. Inhale to reverse your warrior, reach it up and back. Exhale, curl your hands down to frame your right foot. Walk your right foot out to the right just slightly and lift your left heel off of the mat. Walk your left foot forward until you can ground your heel down with two straight legs for your pyramid pose. Extending the outer right palm back, keeping the weight on the right big toe mount. Walk your hands forward and fold over your right shin bone like you wanted to kiss your toes or bring your chin to your shin. Deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Two more here, inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath, inhale. Exhale the breath out. On your next inhale, gaze forward. Rebend your right knee. Plant your hands swell. Shift your weight forward to step back to your plank pose. Going through your vinyasa if you want to. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five deep breaths on these dog. If you need a child's pose, bring your knees to the mat, sit bones to the heels, and rest in child's pose. Otherwise, rest in this down dog and find a length through your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you're in child's pose, meet on our downward facing dog as you feel ready. One more deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale the breath out. Inhale to extend your left leg behind you. Three legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. And again, mindful of your right hip. Make sure it doesn't collapse to the right. Make sure your heel stays in line with your big toe mount. Inhale to rise high on the ball of your right foot. Hug your left knee to your left elbow. Draw it in towards your chest. And then slowly glide your foot through your hands. Releasing your right knee down to the mat and adjusting your stance as much as you need to to find again two 90 degree angles. Right hip above the knee left knee above your ankle, walk your hands to the top of your left thigh and lengthen through your torso. Bring your left thumb to the hip crease, extend your right arm up towards the ceiling, and then as you hook your elbow to the outer left thigh, push your thigh onto the elbow and keep your knee in line with your hip. Draw the belly and the ribs in, stack your left hand on top of your right and push it well so that you can maybe Bring your chest to meet your thumbs, the very middle of your heart to meet your thumbs, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. Keep opening your left knee out to the left. Soften your neck, soften your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. On your exhale, gently release your twist, coming back to center. Bring your hands back onto your left thigh bone. Push your thigh away from you. Curl your right toes under. Lift your right knee off of the mat. Once you're stable with your stance and your balance, extend your arms overhead. Press and lunge. 
two straight legs to re-square your right hip bone forward, kick your right heel back, and on your exhale, just bending your front knee, straight in line with your hip. Take a deep breath in, see if you can find a little bit more length through your upper body, and on your exhale, heavy your hips a little bit more towards the mat. Inhale to open it up for your warrior two. Back heel reaches back, front toe straight forward, Open your left knee out to the left. Make sure you can see your left big toe when you gaze down. Actively push your right thigh bone back and down. Extending your fingertips away from your shoulders. Neck is long. Inhale, flip your front palm. Reverse your warrior. Extend it back and up. Exhale, left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm extends up and overhead. Extended side angle. Spiraling your chest towards the ceilings. Your legs don't move. Strong with your legs. Inhale. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. Exhale the breath out. Inhale. Reverse your warrior. Stretch it back and up. Exhale. Curl your hands down to frame your left foot. Pick up your right heel. Walk your left foot out. Feet hip distance apart. Walk your right foot forward until you can ground your heel down for your pyramid stretch. Again, two straight legs. Walking your hands forward any amount to mount your torso down towards your left thigh bone and bringing your chin towards your shin bone. So lead with your chest so that your back doesn't round. Breathe deeply into your hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale the breath out. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale, bend your left knee. Step your right foot forward to meet your left, keeping your feet hip distance apart this time. Take a hold of opposite elbows and then tuck your chin to your chest. Bend your knees as much or as little as you need to, to release everything nice and heavy down to the mat. Just taking a, ra a round of ragdoll to reset the body. If you're holding on to opposite elbows, hold on to the other one, other side. Pull your elbows down to the mat, maybe begin to straighten your legs any amount if that's okay for your lumbar spine, for your shoulders and your neck. Inhale, release your fingertips down to the mat. Toe, heel, your big toes to touch. Take a soft bend onto the knees and slowly, one vertebra at a time, begin to rise. Crown of the head last to come up. Shoulders reach back and down, Breath through the collarbones. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose to reset. Open your mouth and sigh the breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your seat. Utkatasana chair pose. Tailbone lengthens, arms reach up. Stretch your hips back and lower your hips until maybe your hips can meet the, uh, the knees. Stretch back a little bit more with the shin bones. Take another breath. Keep your knees bent, bring your belly to your thigh bones, and lift your arms a teeny bit higher. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat and fold. Inhale to five leg. Exhale, plant your hands, bend your knees, step back to your plank pose. Rock forward into your toes, lower down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in to extend your right leg behind you. Three-legged dog. This time keep your hips square. Stretch back with the left thigh bone. Inhale to rise high on the ball of your left foot. Hug your right knee to your chest. Round through your back and slide your foot in between your hands. Squeeze your inner thighs to rise. Press and lunge. Take a deep breath in two straight legs to shift your left hip bone forward. On your exhale, just your right knee. Bend it straight forward. Bring your hands in prayer in front of your heart and keeping the shoulders above the hips, begin to rotate towards the right. Mindful of your kneecaps, 
Make sure that your right knee stays right in line with the hip and the left knee does not collapse inwards. Shoulders are reaching back, chest is forward. Inhale here. Exhale, rotating back to center. Re-extend your arms overhead and again pivot your back heel down to the mat to open your stance for your warrior two. Sinking nice and heavy into your hips, extending away with your fingertips. Inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale to straighten your right leg. Keep the weight pushing down through the big toe mount and then just shift your left hip bone forward just slightly and then extend your right arm forward and down. Extended triangle. Once you get to your triangle, hug your legs towards one another. Release your hand down anywhere on your shin, your foot, the mat, or your block, and push the back heel back and down. Keep your legs nice and active. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, gentle bend on your right knee to rise back up to your warrior two. Exhale to carve your hands to the inside of your right foot. We're gonna move into a wide-legged forward fold. So walk your hands towards the middle of your mat. Pivot all 10 toes towards the left side of the room and align your heels on the same line. When you inhale, find as much length through your sideways. And on your exhale, release the crown of the head down towards the mat any amount. If your head touches the mat, it's great. If not, just work the legs nice and straight and heavy your head down towards the mat. Keep lifting the kneecaps, softening the shoulders away from the ears, deepening the breath. Inhale, exhale, soften the breath. Inhale, exhale, one more here. Inhale, exhale the breath out. Inhale to gaze forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of the mat and keep them to the inside of your right foot as you release your left knee down to the mat. Realign your right knee above your right ankle and then maybe bring your forearms down to the mat or keep your hands on the mat as you melt your torso down for your lizard pose. Don't worry if your forearms don't touch the mat. Just try to keep your spine long by lengthening your chest forward and maybe hugging your right knee closer to your right shoulder. Maybe move a little bit onto the stretch if that feels good on your hips and breathe deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. If your forearms are down, plant your hands back down onto the mat. Walk your right foot in so you can frame it with both of your hands and then pick up your left knee off of the mat. Coming back to your gentle twist, extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe deepening onto the twist by pressing your left hand well and lifting your belly towards your right thigh bone. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe extend your right arm forward this time. Take another breath here, inhale. Exhale, release both hands back down to the mat. Shift your weight forward, step back to your plank pose. Slowly, slowly, begin to release all the way down to your bellies. And once you get to your bellies, stack one hand on top of the other and rest your forehead on top of your hands. Just find release in this pose. I cannot show you the next exercise because I don't want to squish my baby, but you guys are all going to stay on your bellies and just be good listeners. So take a nice deep breath in. And on your exhale, keeping your hands and your forehead connected, stretch your toes towards the back of the room and find as much length as you lift the tops of the feet and the hands off of the mat any amount. Thinking about reaching forward with the crown of the head and back with the toes. Just a little back bend. Take a deep inhale here. And as you release everything down to the mat, exhale the breath out. Bring your hips back to your heels to reset your spine on a child's pose. 
stretching your hips back and your arms forward, melting your forehead and your forearms down to the mat. One restful breath here, inhale. Exhale the breath out. Plant your hands well, curl your toes under, lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Stretch your kneecaps, stretch your thigh bones, roll your triceps under. Inhale to extend your left leg behind you, three-legged dog. Again, keeping your hips square this time, inhale to rise high on the ball of your right foot, rock forward to your three-legged plank, hug your knee to your chest, and slide your foot in between your hands. Squeeze your inner thighs to rise, high lunge. Inhale, two straight legs, square your right hip bone forward, exhale, bend your left knee only and kick your right heel back and up. Draw the belly in, hands in prayer, keeping your shoulders above the hips, begin to rotate towards the left. Go slow so that you can keep your thumbs in the middle of your heart, your shoulders releasing down and your knees in line with your hips. Drawing the belly in, rib cage towards one another. Inhale, lift the elbow tips in line with the wrist. Exhale, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale to extend your arms overhead. Exhale to find your warrior two on the left. And readjust your stance as much as you need to so that your right leg is straight and strong. Your left knee is above your left ankle. Stretch your fingertips away from you. Take an inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Reach it up and back. Exhale, straightening your left leg. Maybe shift back another inch or two. And then as you pivot your right hip bone forward slightly, extend your left fingertips forward and down. And wherever you can keep the most sideways extension on the left, that's where you place your hand and it can be all the way up onto your quad, can be down to your shin, all the way to the mat, but try not to crunch onto your side waist. Take another deep inhale here. On your exhale, gentle bend at your left knee to rise back up to your warrior two. Carvel your hands down to the inside of your left foot. And again, we're gonna travel halfway to the back of the mat, aligning your heels in the same line, outer edges of your feet to the short end of your mat, and then maybe this time you'll fold a little bit deeper. Keeping your legs straight. Stretch your kneecaps and your thigh bones back. Soften your neck. If your head is all the way down on the mat, maybe walk your feet in a little bit, closing the stance and releasing the head back down onto the mat. Two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale the breath out. Inhale to gaze forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat, keeping them to the inside of your left foot. Release your left, right knee down to the mat. Again, you can keep your hands down. You can maybe travel all the way down to your forearms if that's okay for your inner groins and your thigh bones. And then lift your chest forward, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe shift forward and back, side to side, bringing a little bit of movement into your stretches if that feels good to your bodies. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Hug your left knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently plant your hands back down onto the mat. Walk your left foot to frame it with both of your hands. Curl your right knee, uh, right toes under. Lift your right knee off of the mat. Keep your right hand on the mat. Extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. Kick your left heel uh, back, left and right hip on the same line. Maybe extend your left arm forward and twist a little bit deeper. One more breath here, inhale. On your exhale, release your hand back down to the mat. Shift your weight forward and step your right foot to meet your left, coming to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath into fine line. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise, Urbha Hastasana. 
Exhale, hands in prayer. And arms release to das and a mountain pose. Roll your shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms overhead. And on your exhale, slowly begin to bend your knees to drop your seat all the way down to the lifted heels. Once you get to your lifted heels, maybe your hands will come down to the mat. Try to hug your ankles towards one another. Hug your inner thighs towards one another if balance is okay. Lift your hands back onto your, uh, towards your heart and lower your knees in line with your hips. Just one breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gently release your sit bones down to the mat and straighten your legs forward. Flex your toes. Plant your hands alongside your hips, finding Dandasana, staff pose. Actively pushing the mat away from you to find length through your spine. Now take a moment to stretch your heels forward and push your kneecaps down and your quads down to the mat. So really active with your legs. Keep the length on your spine and the activation through your legs. Extend your arms overhead. Exhale. Folding any amount. Try not to bend your knees so it doesn't matter what, how far forward you go. Try not to round or bend your knees. Once you get to the place where you are fully folding forward, then release your head and your neck and relax. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, slowly. Begin to rise back up, bend your knees, plant your feet on the mat, lengthen your tailbone to the heels, and slowly begin to lower all the way down to your backs, keeping your knees bent and your feet flat on the mat. Shoulders release out, plant your feet well, and lengthen the tailbone forward again so that your entire back from the shoulders to the tailbone are pieced down to your mats. And then from there, you're gonna extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, point or flex your toes. Just find the place where your leg is the straightest and the most active. So it might be different for everybody. And then trying to keep that leg straight and strong, walk your hands up your leg any amount to bring your leg towards your chest, not your chest towards your leg. So really working onto your hamstrings and your hip flexors. Try to keep your legs straight and draw the shoulders down and back. Try to keep both of your hips down on the mat. And then the same knee, you're gonna bend it. You're gonna hold on to the outer edge of your foot or your shin bone or your ankle and draw your knee down towards the outer ribs for your half happy baby. You're holding on from the outside of your foot your elbow is to the inside of your knee, and as you use the strength of your arm to pull your knee down, at the same time, try to release your left hip bone down. One more deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale, gently release your right foot back down onto the mat. Extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Point and flex your toes a couple times, and just see where your leg can be the longest, straightest version of your own left leg. And then you can begin to walk your hands any amount up your leg, bringing it closer to your chest while keeping your shoulders and your neck on the mat. So you're not lifting your torso to meet your leg, you're bringing your leg towards your torso, extending the left and the right hip bone evenly down to the mat. And then we'll bend the left knee Hold on to the outer edge of your left foot with your left hand, elbow to the inside of your knee. Half happy baby. Again, drawing your knee as close to the outer ribs as you can. Extending the right hip down to the mat. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, gently release your left foot down to the mat. Bring your knees to touch, press your heels down. Shift your hips to the right and lower both knees to the left. T or cactus your arms, but try to keep your shoulders down on the mat. Try to keep your knees on the same plane. 
and really find a nice gentle stretch on your lumbar spine. Coming back to the breath, inhale. And exhale. One more here, inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your knees back to center. Shift your hips to the left and lower your knees to the right. Again, try to shimmy both of your shoulders on the mat. Try to keep your knees on the same line. Breathing in. Exhale. One more round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale the breath out. Gently coming back to center. Hug both of your knees into your chest. Make a few circles around your sacrum. Releasing into the low back to one side and the other. And once you've had enough movement, give yourselves a tight, tight, loving squeeze before releasing everything down to your mats, finding your resting pose in Shavasana. Taking a moment to set up your body so that they are really melting down into the mats, softening the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in for, through your nose. And as you sigh the breath out, release your jaw, soften your eyes, soften your cheeks, and just rest. As you feel ready, gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring gentle movements to your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Move your head and neck from side to side, gently massaging the back of your skull. And on your next inhale, extend your arms overhead, point through your toes, find a deep morning stretch. And gently bending one knee at a time, roll on to either side of your bodies, pausing there for a moment. And using the strength of your top arm, lifting back up to a comfortable seated position of your choice. Giving yourselves these last couple moments on your mats to observe again, to notice any changes that you might have created through your practice, to recognize yourselves for your efforts, to honor one another for sharing those efforts. Let's fold our hands in prayer in front of our hearts. Lift your heart to your prayer and bow your head to your hearts. I thank you all for sharing your light and energy with me today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Shanti, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Be well.